Stuart at Break the Mold Furniture here. So I've got an interesting project on today. A uh, two whiskey barrels, and they'll be made into uh, cabinets for storing whiskey. Uh, so I'll be taking the bands off them, sanding them, cutting a hole in them, put a shelf in, a top and a bottom. Uh, and just sanding and finishing. So let's crack on with it. Now I've sanded all the, the staves, the, the oak's looking pretty good, uh, we're keeping it pretty rustic, natural looking, uh, so I'm now going on to cleaning up this metal banding, so for that I've got a wire brush on the grinder and we'll give that a go and tidy it up. So, while I was drilling these, I realised that while the barrel was on its end and I'm drilling in horizontally, it was quite difficult. So, I put it on this pallet, a piece of wood either side to stabilise it. And when I'm drilling, I'm drilling horizontally, eh, sorry, vertically, and gravity is working with me, which is making a big difference. So that's all the screws in, holding the whole barrel together so that I can then cut these straps and I'll cut along the staves here and here and take that section out so it leaves an opening for putting a, a shelf in and lighting and stuff. So I'll get on and cut these.
There we go, one cabinet. So, need to tidy up all these edges, grind this down, I put a shelf in, some lighting. Uh, I'll need to get rid of some of this charring and put some varnish on the inside to, to seal it. But that's looking pretty good. So now that I've opened up the barrels, uh, I've noticed that one of them has been charred, burnt on the inside, and this one hasn't. So time to get some fire on the go and get this one burnt and matching the other. So that approach isn't quite working. So I've got a new plan. I've got some black stain here. I'm going to apply it to the inside of the barrel, which will help to get the colour. But I'm also going to light it and burn it and see how that goes. It's looking much better, so it's pretty much matching the other barrel now. Pretty happy with that. I was looking for a quicker way to apply another coat of stain to this. So I've got an iron brew bottle with a hole drilled in the top filled with black stain. I'm just going to put it, spray it in there. So I've got the whiskey barrels ready. I'm now going to make tops and shelves for them. So I'm using this oak veneered MDF. So I'll use the, the trammel on the router to cut a, a circle. Uh, to do this, I'll drill a hole in the center here and this knob will be screwed in to the hole and when I use the router, eh, this gives me a center point and I should get a perfect circle. Uh, I've got the dust extraction set up to it because I'm cutting MDF, it's no great for your health. So I've got the dust extraction set up. I think it might be a bit awkward because I'm going round in a circle, but I'll use it as much as I can.
There we go. First one cut. We'll just test it, make sure it fits okay. That's good. So the client asked for a, a flat, smooth top that he can have a transfer put on, a Johnny Walker's transfer. So normally what these would have been done with, you would get a, a lid from another, a, a bigger barrel and use it for the top, uh, which I suggested, but the client wanted something really flat so that it would take a, a transfer, so that's why we're using this uh, oak veneered MDF, and I'll stain it up to match the, the oak on the barrel. Uh, he just wanted a, a small overhang, so this will be used for sitting drinks on and stuff. Uh, so that is pretty much what he asked for, just about a 20mm overhang. Uh, and then the shelves will be made up the same. And they'll sit inside the cabinet, like this. So that's them all cut. Uh, I'll get them sanded, put some uh, edgings on them and we'll fit the shelves into the barrels with some L brackets and the tops, I'll need to put some strapping in underneath the top and fix it down onto it.
So I painted these black and I'm going to sand most of the black paint off. The idea is that the black paint will be left in the grain and some of it on the surface, just like the, the surface of the whiskey barrel so that I can match that aged look to the, the barrels. It's a technique that we've used in the antique restoration jobs so if you're making a new piece for a, a piece of antique furniture we would paint it a sort of matte black uh, let that dry and sand most of the black off and you'll I'll sand it and you'll see the the finish we get So there you can see pretty much instantly we get that aged look. Uh, so that should match the, the aged look on the, the barrels. So if it had been like a a piece for a, a piece of antique furniture, I would have hit it with chains, screwdrivers and stuff to put all the wee dings and nicks in it that a uh, uh, hundred odd year old piece of furniture would get but because this is for the whiskey barrels we don't need to go that far so I'll sand the edges by hand sand the other side and that should be it, good to go <laughs>
Looking good. Pretty happy with that.